Hi and welcome to this tutorial about Ubuntu Live DVD 14.4. To boot a Live DVD you need to have the right boot order in your BIOS. Most computers have the right boot order. If you run into problem to boot the DVD, check the boot order in your BIOS. The DVD should be prioritized above the hard drive. So simply start your computer and after that insert the DVD into your DVD driver. The DVD is an auto start DVD so close the windows, press start and give order about reboot of your computer. If you have the right settings the BIOS will boot from the DVD instead. The booting of the DVD is a time consuming process so I doing time skip here. Now when Ubuntu have booted you will find the language in the left column. The live DVD works best with English. If you want to install you click here but today we should try the live DVD so simply click try Ubuntu and now wait now when Ubuntu have started the first windows which appear is the key shortcut windows simply close this windows and move over to the clock. Choose time and date settings. As you can see the live DVD is not fast. You should change the representation of time and date and years. only because I like it to have it my way. Time and settings is not necessary to change. There is however one change you won't do if you live in another country than United States. Click on all settings and go to the keyboard because if you choose English the standard keyboard is English, but I live in another country, so I need to add the keyboard manually. I live in Sweden. I don't have an English keyboard, so I simply remove it. Now I will have the right keyboard so I can write in the text editor and so on. The most common programs are located to the left. Simply start them by clicking. As you can see they load quite slowly. The file manager Nautilus we have on the screen now is one of the fastest. If you want to start other program go up here and this process is quite slow and you see why animation and you simply search the program up. There is good things to say about the live DVD as well as bad thing. One of the major bad thing is that the live DVD are normally not up to date with the latest security update. So don't surf the web on suspect site. 
Another thing have you already noticed, the speed. There is a price to be paid for not installing the operation system. It takes a long time to boot and long time to start and long time to run the programs. In theory, you should be able to install program into the live DVD session. I have tried it and the experimental don't work well. If you save data, save it to a USB memory or onto your physical hard drive. Data which are stored on the virtual temporary hard drive will be erased when you reboot your computer. The good thing about the live DVD is you don't install anything and you don't change your boot sector either. When you are tired about trying Ubuntu, go up here, choose shut down. If you choose shut down, the computer will be turned off. If you choose reboot, Windows will be started instead or the operation system you have installed. I choose restart. When you use the live DVD, the DVD will be pushed out of the DVD ROM. Simply remove the DVD and press enter. That was everything I have to show you. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.